Welcome to this session on modeling steel braces. In this session, we use the vertical steel brace tool to model steel braces. K bracing will be added to the model between grid lines A2 and A3 and F2 and F3. From the ribbon interface, Structural tab, select the Steel K Bracing tool from the Bracing drop down list. In the Property panel, set the catalog item to Single Angle. On the Placement ribbon, select a placement point. Toggle on Apply Work Point Offset and set it to half depth of beam. Toggle off Prompt for bottom beam. Toggle on Automatic Coping and set the coping options to Cope Normal to Member Line with the mode set to Absolute Clearance and the planar cut clearance set to 9 inches or 225 millimeters. In the Place Steel K Bracing dialog, expand the section name field. Set the filter to Angles. Expand the list and select Angle 5 by 5 by half or 120 by 120 by 15 or anything similar as the section. Set the structural finish to painted. Set the ID type ID to steel bracing. And set the ID item ID to BR1. And finally, set the phase to new construction. In the isometric orientation, zoom into the steel framing at column grids A2 and A3. Following the prompts, select the steel column at grid location A2, then select the second column at grid location A3, and then select the beam at floor 2 between grid locations A2 and A3. Two angles for the bracing are placed from the bottom of the columns to the top of the selected beam, offset by the working point offset, which was half the depth of the beam. To model the K bracing for floor 3, we will utilize the additional placement option prompt for bottom of beam, since the bottom of the columns are at floor 2. Following the prompt, select the column A2, then A3, then select the beam at floor 3 between grid locations A2 and A3. Again, following the prompt, select the beam at floor 2 between grid locations A2 and A3 to indicate the bottom of the bracing. Two angles for the bracing are placed from the columns selected to the top of the beam selected, offset by the working point offset of a half the depth of the beam. The bottom of the angles are located by the last beam selected, indicating the bottom beam. Repeat this process to add bracing at column grid F between column grids 2 and 3. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.